LinkedIn articles are a really cool way to share your knowledge with the world in a way that really lives on and on. So with social media content, typically what happens is we post something and within a few days or a week, it's kind of dead, you know, it loses that engagement. So what we can do is create long form content in the form of an article. And what happens is when people are searching on Google, LinkedIn articles actually rank really highly. So it's very likely that someone can come from Google straight to your LinkedIn article. So when we create an article, we can either create it as ourselves, so as our, our personal profile. So we have this button here, which is write article or we can switch over to our company page and we can do the same there. So we can also write an article as our company. Now I'm gonna do this as my company, but there's really no right or wrong. It kind of depends on who you want the author of that article to be. Do you want it to be a company article or do you want it to come from you personally? So let's click on write article and let's have a look at what we see. So the article sort of editing system Oh, let's get rid of that, uh, is very, very basic. So if you've ever edited websites, you'll know this looks very, very similar to a basic website editor. The first thing we want to do is we want to upload an image. So what I'm actually going to do is be a little bit lazy. I'm going to take this blog post here that I've already written. This um, is on my website and I'm going to publish it as an article. So over here, I'm going to click on upload from my computer. I'm going to take the image that I used for that blog post and that actually works really well. That sort of sizing there, um, it's a little bit landscape and it fits quite well. Then we can add credit and caption. So if it's a photo and we need to credit the photographer or the person who created it, we would add that in there. I'm not going to bother for this example because I actually created that image there. So the next thing is our title. So again, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to copy that right from my website and I'm going to pop that in there. Now we get down to writing the actual article. So again, super lazy. I'm going to take all of this content here and I'm going to copy and paste. Now the cool thing about articles which you can't typically do uh, on social media is you can edit the uh, formatting. So we can add in headings, you'll see it's automatically pulled through those headings from my blog. Um, you can add images if you want, so I might click here and I might click on this wee image icon and I could pop in uh, another image there. Let's just pop this one in, see what that looks like. Cool. And again, we can add captions if we want to. Uh, we can create uh, lists. We can create numbered lists, bulleted lists. We could quote some text. So I might take that sentence there and turn it into a block quote, quote which means it sort of sticks out. Um, so there's lots and lots of forming, formatting that we can do. As I said, it's very similar to when you add something to your website. Now, before we publish this, we have a couple of jobs to do. So the first one is under manage. So under manage, we have this here, which is your SEO settings. So again, if we were to publish a blog to our website, we would give some thought to the SEO or the search engine optimization behind it. So when I click on these SEO settings, I can create an SEO title and also an SEO description. Now, these are the things that are going to pop up in Google when we when someone searches for the topic you're talking about and your article pops up in their Google search results, they'll see the title and they'll see the description. So I want you to add those in. So I'm going to use the same title uh, because I've already given some thought to this title around SEO. So my thinking is that someone might be searching for the best social media scheduling tool. So I've made sure Okay, that's not going to fit. I've cut off by one character. So why don't we go, why Publit is the best social media scheduling tool? Oh, that's going to fit in there. And then a short description. So I might actually take, uh, I actually take those first two sentences. So again, we want to have social media scheduling tool, best social media scheduling tool, the type of things that people are going to be searching for. Cool, that one was a little bit uh, too long as well. Great, so now we'll click on save there. 
So that's our SEO settings. So they're more sort of technical in the back end, but to help our article be found. Uh, and the other thing we want to do is we want to link to the original content. Now, this is only if you're copying and pasting from another source. So if you think about the way that Google and search engines work is they don't really love duplicate content. So if I search for a topic and I just saw the same content over and over and over again, I wouldn't have a really good experience with Google. I want to see different types of content. So typically what happens is Google will pick or the search engine will pick um, the original post, so the original piece of that content, and then it will kind of disregard all of the others. So what we don't want to happen is that our LinkedIn article actually ranks higher than our website article. Now chances are it will just because LinkedIn is a really trusted source, uh, but what we can do is add in a link to that original uh, post. Now uh, in the world of sort of tech and websites, it's called a con canonical link. I really struggle with that word, uh, but unfortunately we can't add in that type of link here. But what we will do is towards the bottom is we're going to put, uh, oh, let's see if we can get in there. We're going to put this article, oh, originally appeared on the Social Smarty blog. And I'm going to put the full link to that original article there. There we go. And so what I'm trying to do is tell Google that actually the original source was this link, uh, but you know, not to treat it as duplicate content and rank it down. Um, and hopefully it will recognize that my website is the original source because really that's where I want the traffic to go. Uh, I've also finished with a call to action here. So I'm sending people through to check out uh, a link that's an affiliate link and I earn a commission if people click through. Um, the other things you could do is you could finish with a link to your own website. You could also finish with a, a question. You know, we want to finish with that call to action there. So once we're all happy with it, we're going to click on next. And then what we do is we share this article with our network. So what will happen here is we'll give them a little bit of a teaser. So check out my latest article on, oh, that didn't work. Let's grab that heading again. Eight reasons why public is the best social media. Scheduling tool. Cool. Okay. And then we go ahead and we hit publish. And I want you just to see what it's going to look like. So once that has published, Let's close that down. We're going to go back into our business profile, so our company page. And as we scroll down, we can actually see we've got the little teaser text there. And if someone clicks anywhere in this panel here, it takes them through to the actual article. So they can read that through and at the bottom, there is a box for people to add their comments. Now let's go back a step. We'll go back to the company page. I'm going to switch from admin view to the view that everyone, you know, normal visitors would see. If I click on that, so this is my company page here. As we scroll down, we have page posts. So that's what it's going to look like when it's sitting on my page there. So it, also if I click on the posts tab, then what you'll see is people can filter to just articles. So if I click on articles, I'm going to see that article sitting there. So give it a go. I do recommend, you know, taking some things from your blog, adding them to LinkedIn, um, getting some more of your message out there. It's such a cool way to create content that doesn't just die after a couple of days.